Atlantic Treaty Organization, or NATO, was created on April the 4th, 1949. This was a historic moment. At that time, the international community was still recovering from the most devastating conflict the world has ever seen. Born out of the chaos of World War II, my father's war, NATO was formed to protect European democracies against Soviet totalitarianism and prevent a third world war. 70 years later, the greatest military alliance ever created was, has proven that the free peoples of the world are the strongest when we stand together. From that confrontation with communism during the Cold War to the defeat of Milosevic in Kosovo to the battlefields of Afghanistan, American soldiers and those of our NATO allies have fought and bled together. In fact, the only time that Article 5, as the chairman said, has ever been invoked was after 9-11 terror attacks. This collective defense agreement and the acknowledgement that an attack on one is an attack on all is a cornerstone of the alliance, and we must keep it that way. NATO has enhanced our military capability, increased our intelligence collection, and created a bulwark against international terror. It is critical to our national security and solidifies our friendships with member states. NATO continues to grow as countries in Europe meet important objectives. And as I was pleased to see <clears throat> that North Macedonia will be joining the alliance as, as its newest member. However, friends must also be honest with each other. Some of our allies have not been living up to the decision at the Wales Summit in 2014 to spend 2% of their GDP on national defense. Thankfully, under pressure from the administration, member countries have begun to spend more. NATO Secretary General uh, recently announced that by the end of next year, an additional $100 billion will be contributed by our European partners. This is bad news for Vladimir Putin, but good news for the future of NATO's common defense. And over the next 70 years, we will be challenged again and again. We've already seen a resurgent Russia attack its neighbors from cyber attacks in Eastern Europe to military conflicts in Georgia and Ukraine. It is clear that Putin wants to reclaim the superpower status of the Soviet Union. We can meet our challenges if they are confronted with unity and strength. Division and weakness will only tear us apart. Each of today's witnesses have served our country well, and I know all of you personally. Uh, you've developed an expertise on foreign policy and national security affairs I look forward to having a thoughtful and bipartisan discussion and hearing on their thoughts on how to maintain a strong and effective NATO. And with that, Mr. Chairman,